Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a bashful couple in love that loves reacting to some Bad Batch. Yes, we do. So this is The Bad Batch Season 1, Episode 4. If you want all of our reactions to this series, check out the description of this video for a playlist. And if you want early ad free access, you can get full watch along reactions on Patreon as well. Uh, the link for that is in the description of this video. Yep. Ida Floor. That's where we'll go. But Ida Floor's not even inhabited. Which makes it the perfect place to hide out. Hide? But I've been stuck on Camino my whole life. Can't we explore? Not right now. We have to wait for things to settle down. Well, we won't be doing either. We don't have enough fuel and we are also entirely out of rations. Without the Republic to provide us supplies, We'll have to acquire these necessities on our own. Well, we got a bigger problem. Comchatter has our ship's signature on a wanted list. So we scramble it. Well, you can do that. Of He's course tech. I can do it. But I need to land in order to perform those modifications. By my calculations, the closest planet is Pantora. Well, Pantora it is. Yeah, new place for Omega. Pantora it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you tell me we're out of rations? Now I'm starving! Our priority is scrambling the ship's signature key. <laughs> Your priority? <laughs> you fellas here for repairs? Just a minor calibration and fuel. <clears throat> Have at it. Just need to scan your ship in. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I fine. suppose I could skip that step. <laughs> 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 That was easy. <clears throat> Aren't you uh, forgetting something? Yeah, the bribe for it. You, you, you said you'd skip the step. I could. Right. If I had some incentive of the financial variety. I think he means credits. Is that sufficient incentive? <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I never ask if it's sufficient. Just give yeah. it to him and say that should be sufficient. <clears throat> this is Raspar 6 at Row Station. Word on the channels is you're looking for a certain modified Omicron class attack shuttle. I What's it worth to you? To find it, but that information's gonna cost you. I'll make it well worth your while. Transmit the coordinates and make sure they don't leave. I'm gonna guess that's who she was cloned after. If so, the hair's all wrong. She had a very long, dark haired, kind of really cool uh, braid type of thing. You so. can't sell that explosive. You it's the last one. And it's the only thing we have worth any money. You want to eat, don't you? Why do Tech and I have to do all the repairs while you get to go sightseeing? Sightseeing? No, 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 no. This is a supply run. In and out, quickly and quietly. Yeah, and you stick out too much. Oh, and you don't? <laughs> Not dressed like this. All right, let's get moving. Omega, you got us. Yes. All right, bring back something good to eat. I love how we're always worried about disguises, and yet Hunter what are they has a very unique yeah. face that he never covers. Chain code sure. post. Lock on salute. Your individual chain code. Every citizen can exchange their invalid currency for Imperial credits at no cost. Thanks to the generosity of the new Galactic Empire. Things are changing quicker than I thought. Let's get what we came for and get out of here. But the war is over. Isn't that good? Depends mm. which side you're on. At no cost. Thanks to the generosity of... The signature key should be embedded below the rear parallax inverter. Just, just tell me what to rip out. <laughs> well, start with that. No sale. Look, this is a pyro denton with at least 1800 credits. Maybe in the black market, but I'm running a reputable business here. <laughs> hey, kid, you break it, you buy it. Sorry. If you're looking to sell something, how about your droid? Droid? Yep. Uh, he's a, he's a military prototype. Military, eh? Hmm. Yeah, give me 2,000. Hmm. <laughs> give me a minute. No, 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 you can't be serious. We need the credits. Once we get the supplies, I'll give you the signal and you can leave. Fine, but not at that price. I am worth more than 2,000. <laughs> Way to go, I got. Make it 4,000. Three! Deal. <laughs> Puppies! 
Space puppies. Space slug puppies. <laughs> no! No, no, no! <clears throat> mm hmm. Always gotta keep an eye on a kid. Especially a new one to the world. Yes, whatever you require. Oh. Omega. Omega! Hmm. Hey, watch it! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, are you alright? You seem lost. I got separated from my friends. I can help with that. Not to worry. We'll find them. Grab your doll. The one that you yeah. spent all this time chasing. Hunter's gotta teach her about stranger danger. We'll finally have some order around here. Now get to work and start supervising these droids. I beg your pardon. I am the droid in charge. Oh my. You're not a droid. <laughs> I click. I will report his deception at once. I'll take your complaint. Dear me! Anyone else? <laughs> Thanks for helping me look for my friends. It's no trouble at all. You hungry, kid? Yeah, but I don't have any credits. <gasps> Sorry about that. <gasps> the, oh. Mm. Thank you. You're so kind. My mistake. Here. But we didn't pay for these. It's okay to break the rules sometimes. Are you a soldier? Not exactly. Then why do you have a blaster? To protect myself. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be on your own. Yeah, it's a good thing I have my friends. We're not with you Aren't right you now. Aren't you lucky? I know. If you're alone, you should come with us. Now that's the best offer I've had in a long time. Come on, this way. Omega! Oh, there's one of my friends now! Omega, step away from her. Why? She was helping me look for you. Yes, Omega and I were getting to know each other. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Omega, run! Nice! Yeah! Ooh. Citizen! Halt! Wrecker, easy with my ship. Your ship? There. That is the signature key. Got it. The voice of the actress, that's the one from uh, Boba Fett and um, S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff, right? Oh. His name is escaping me right now. Yeah. A woman, highly trained. She's after the kid. Ming Na Wei? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tap into the central security network. There should be enough cameras in the city to find her. Listen, I made a bit of noise out here. Get the ship ready to go. Well, it's not technically a ship at the moment. And unless you have a team of maintenance droids, it's going to be a while. I can help with that. Gear up, fellas. Team. Into the nice. I am afraid that is impossible. We are prohibited from leaving this post. Look, the sooner we do this, the sooner you're back in charge. Even so, I'm not capable of removing our restraining bolts. That's why I'm the supervisor. Hey, where do you think you're all going? Get back inside. You're not a droid. You got me for a bargain. <laughs> Yeah, need a better hiding spot. I have eyes on Omega. She went down into the maintenance tunnels. Head northwest at 155. And she's got company. Are. 
Yeah, Wrecker. You had us worried. Hmm? Can we get out of here? You got I'm with the maker. We're on our way. Watch your back. Get to the ship. I'll handle her. You mess with the kid, you mess with me. Come here, Wrecker. You all mess with Wrecker. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> Thought it gonna last a little bit longer. Yeah, me too. I'm faster, dude. Uh, tech wasn't kidding. We got our work cut out for us. I am not programmed to repair or assemble starships. Oh. <laughs> Get out of the way. Is. Yeah. No, you don't, Pink. I give the orders around here. 225, DK3. Get to work on the repulsors. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Yeah, where are you? Wrecker, do you copy? Reports of a child hanging from a tower in the lower dimension. I do not see Wrecker, but Omega is hanging from a maintenance tower in the Skyway. Hanging? For now. I yep, steal something. Hurry. Important business. Sorry, dude. No, 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 kid. Hang on. You can thank me later. Tuck and roll when you land, kid. Do not listen to Tuck and Roll advice. Rekka. Oh, oh. I gotta find Omega. Hunt is already on it. Get back to the ship. Oh, he seems so dizzy. Mm -hmm. Clever. Ouch. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so he died. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Jesus. We were just gonna kill him anyway, did you have to smash his head first? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah, that's an illegal driving you're doing. Damn, nice shot. Go, I could go. Oh, uh, Hunter, sorry. I know what you meant. Hold on, kid. We're not out of this yet. Nice. Ow. Oh. Yep. Now nah, you really pissed her off. Oh yeah, she's limping. <laughs> I would think so after that fall. I don't know, these guys always seem fine yeah. after they do crazy stuff. It's kinda nice to see that somebody took a took a real hit. <laughs> well, I'm missing all the action! <laughs> <laughs> My diagnostic testing I love that little droid. I know me too! Thanks for the help, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Take him with you. You heard him. I am back in charge. Follow me. Go. No. Grab the little one. Just take him. We need to go now. Rekka, pick up the pace. We don't have all day. I'm here. Maybe like beat up the. Yeah, that guy. She hasn't paid you yet? Well, I guess you're not getting paid. Yep. She has to be a bounty hunter. A what? Someone hired to retrieve targets. And you appear to be the target. Me? Hey, don't scare the kid. We have to find out who she is and who hired her. Take it as a badge of honor, kid. No, wait. I, I tried to stop them. Nope, this is going to get it from somebody. Oh, she paid him. If they I'll tell her next back, time. You know how to contact me. The target got away, but I'll find her. That's a promise. All right. Well, you you called it. It was uh, it was her. Um, we called it by the the voice, and we should. I mean, 
Boba Fett's kind of a blur for me. Like I remember uh, that was the first time we saw Cad Bane since we hadn't seen Clone Wars yet. That was our first uh, introduction to to Cad Bane's character. Um, and yeah, I mean, not that she wasn't good in in Boba Fett. I just think that like of the series, like Boba Fett was kind of a letdown, especially coming mm-hmm. out like fresh off like the Mandalorian. I just very much enjoy that actress and for whatever reason, her voice is very familiar to me. Mm -hmm. So I picked up on that before I picked up on the animated version of her character. And then upon hearing the voice, I thought, is that maybe the same and kind of the same getup that she might have been in? Um, So nice to know that I can recognize things. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And we're getting a glimpse of this character, I would assume, before she is connected to Boba Fett because yeah. if, if she was connected with him at this time, I feel like there'd be some sort of mention of him within the sphere. This is comes right after uh, Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith ends. So I think in like in the timeline, Boba Fett is later. I don't know where it, where it is later, but it, it like just from, since we're going in, the, in our, trying to go in our chronological order. So, I mean, I it's cool to see the backstory of this character because we were obviously a, a bit more into Mandalorian than we were mm-hmm. into Boba Fett as a series. My recollection of Boba, Boba Fett is that it really deals with the backstory of, obviously, the title character. Mm-hmm. Um, but Ming-Na Wen's character was someone I was curious about, and yet we didn't get a lot of her backstory that I recall. Um, so it's cool getting this little glimpse into that character. Yeah, for sure. Um, and man, you know, hunters just gotta keep a closer eye on on Omega. I mean, because yeah, like the first time being out into the world, and like now she's going into many different worlds, and just the curiosity is gonna be there and running off, and gotta teach her stranger danger. This is very important. That would be really important. As Hunter said, he's like. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go. Yep. And I think even people who are desirous of being parents and and feel ready to do so, the number of times you hear a story about how they turn their back for half a second and that kid was gone, you know, not gone mm-hmm. indefinitely, like not a horror story, but just like gone. I did it to my mom. I She turned her back for half a second and I was at the top of a grocery store rack of shelves. Yeah. And she had no idea how I managed to get up there within that time frame, but somehow I had. Um, and she ran around the store looking for me, and I was at the top of some shelves, like sitting there laughing, thinking it was great fun because no one could find me. <laughs> um, you know, that's that's the kind of thing that, like, it doesn't matter how well equipped you think you are to be a parent mm-hmm. or how prepared you think you've done reading all the books and everything. Like, until you've watched a child and realized how quickly they can vanish on you, you don't know how quickly it can happen. I was hoping Wrecker was gonna last like a little more than like one second. Like I, I know. I knew he was gonna go in there and like, you know, oh, here comes Wrecker, he's gonna be a badass. I'm like, I thought she, you know, she was just gonna be too quick for him. And then I mean she kinda was, but I didn't think it was, you know, one one swipe at her and just boom, knock him out. Uh yeah. So hopefully Wrecker gets another chance. I will say I love Wrecker for being there for Omega. Like Mm-hmm. Of all the of all the characters that bring the dad energy, Wrecker's the one that brings <laughs> the dad energy. You know, he's like the big hulking guy who's gonna scoop her up and and whatnot, and he's got every best intention. Obviously, Hunter is more of the actual parental figure for Omega, mm-hmm. but Wrecker just brings that goofy dad energy that's very enjoyable. I also was sad that he was out in like two seconds and in, in that much of a fight, but. I do think it sets up how skilled both Hunter and Omega are. The fact that they are going toe to toe with her in an aerial battle, no less. Um, and Wrecker on what would arguably be his home court advantage, being a big guy yeah, on solid yeah. ground, couldn't last more than five seconds against her. Like that's how good she is. So, you know, there's there's that. Now she wasn't trying to kill Omega, which helps mm-hmm. Omega, but she would have comfortably killed Hunter and, and not had a second thought about it, I don't think. So, you know, he still held his own. Yeah, I mean, she killed the police officer or whatever that was chasing her pretty quickly and threw that one guy like that was driving. That so, poor I mean, guy. She is a bounty hunter, so, like, you know, she's killing. She's not a, above killing somebody um, or, like, worried about it. But she's also not, obviously, so ruthless that she is just, like, bloodthirsty. Right. Um, Because, like you said, like, pay them the the credits. 
because she's smart and it's like, all right, if they ever come back, you know, I want you on my side. It's ni- nice to have spies and eyes and ears everywhere. She's a, a pragmatic business person. Yeah. Ruthless where she needs to be and strategic when it's to her advantage. Yeah. And she paid her, you know, appropriately, just one credit. Like, I'm paying you one credit, but like what I'm really paying you is not kicking your ass and killing you right now. <laughs> like that's that's your true payment. Yeah, I mean, because there are plenty of people in the Star Wars universe that we've met of the unsavory variety who definitely would have killed that guy. Yeah. Darth Vader being among them. You pissed me off and didn't give me what I want? Here's the force choke. You're mm-hmm. de- like, you know, we've met plenty of people who would have killed him. Yeah. Also learned from this episode is know your worth. And Echo knew that he was worth more than, than 2000 and he was worth, worth double that. Settled for it because, you know, he wasn't actually a droid, so... I mean, he didn't settle for it. Hunter settled Hunter did. for yeah, it. Yeah, it's true. He was disappointed. Let's be honest. He was. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad-free access and to see our full watch-along reactions, then you should check out Patreon. There's a link for it down below in the description of this video. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for The Bad Batch Season 1, Episode 4, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.